touch on the Mitch McConnell thing just because I thought it was so interesting that all I hear about is the liberal media. And I do think that you can reasonably suggest that there may be a liberal bias in media generally. I don't think it's as extreme as, you know, is made out. That's but because um, the, the excuse toward the truth. Yeah, okay. My bad. Uh, I'm sorry. Yeah. All <laughs> right, but 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 what I really uh find hard to see is the way that certain stories in this quote liberal media are covered uh, with a break toward the libs. When I see the Mitch McConnell story of yesterday, uh, a story that involves him having a seizure, a mini stroke, unclear what, kind of out on his feet for 20 seconds. Uh, the issue, then it's revealed that he's fallen multiple times. He has a lot of issues related to age and maybe to cognitive acuity. I don't see the same hay made of that, both from a media standpoint and also from a political standpoint, from the Democrats specifically. I don't see the same hay that's made over Joe Biden. I mean, all I hear about is how Joe Biden is infirm. Joe Biden is demented. Uh, you know, he's suffering from a dementia that has diminished him. All I hear about is that. And, you you know, both can be true. He can, you know, Biden may have lost a step or whatever. But the idea somehow that we don't hold Mitch McConnell to the same whatever standard uh, that we hold Biden and Feinstein and others who've also been I think, rightly or wrongly, the victims of a lot of conversation around what they're actually able to understand, do, and their diminished physical and mental capacities, uh, it's weird to me. I mean, don't you think Biden's in a whole different category? He hasn't had a public medical emergency. Oh, uh, uh, the specifics of all of them are different. I mean, he Feinstein over was... A cord. I mean... Feinstein, yeah, she, he tripped over a, um, a sandbag. Yeah. Uh, the you're right, but I, uh, I I mention it because it's all I hear about, and 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 so you actually with your comments, Kim, I think you underscore something very true, which is, guys, exactly what is your problem with Joe Biden? He's not he looks more fit than I do. Okay, yeah. I mean uh, he's biking and you know doing all this other stuff. I get it. He's labored with his words. He's always labored with his words. He's got a so. Center. Uh, and by the way, I'm not saying that he's the same dude he was 10 years ago. I mean, it, you lose a step, but uh, still, I when it comes, I, I certainly don't think that he's someone, uh, again, I'm talking about Biden now, who is uh, completely, utterly mentally diminished to the point that he's incompetent and the country is being run by others, which is what is articulated by the right. So I move on to Mitch McConnell. Here's a guy who clearly has been plagued, apparently, by repeated falls. And I'm guessing, and now I'm going to treat Mitch McConnell without the kid gloves, I'm guessing there have been other manifestations of whatever's happening with Mitch McConnell. And so for those reasons, I'm just wondering why there isn't more of a conversation around Mitch McConnell. Here's well, what happened yesterday. I'm sorry, go ahead, Kim, and I'll show the-, the I feel like- the, um... The minute, the very moment Dianne Feinstein showed an issue, a medical issue popped up, there were calls for her to resign. Eh, she's got to step down. Now, and I'm not disagreeing with that, but I'm comparing it to this case, which is, you know, M McConnell suffers a public medical emergency and it's, hmm, what's going on with him? It's not immediate. He's got to go. He's got to go. Yep, I, I completely agree. There is a it's, draconian a treatment of of, of, of uh, Democratic uh, legislators and whatever physical infirmities they're dealing with. I'll give you another example. But that draconian treatment, which is, as you say, they got to go. This is done. You can, how can It's an embarrassment. How can you have someone like that serving? You heard that with Feinstein. I'll tell you where you really heard it. Fetterman. Remember when Fetterman ran in Pennsylvania against Dr. Oz. All you heard about is this is embarrassing. He's embarrassing himself. I mean, out of a show of mercy, they should take him off the ticket. That's all well, you think, heard about. I think that's discrimination against mental health issues, right? I mean, you Call have a mental you health will. issue. The point it's is not treated the same as a stroke. You know, you have a mental well, health he issue, was a, God forbid. He was, yeah. he was a stroke victim, though. Federer was a stroke victim. That wasn't just a, 
mental health issue that kind of began to spin. He had a stroke. Yeah, so, but he was put into a, you know, went into a place for, for, um, for depression. He was treated for being, having mental health issues. Maybe that, secondary to a stroke. That was yes. different. Yeah. The, the reason he couldn't, uh, the reason he couldn't handle uh, press conferences anymore and the reason that he wasn't able to uh, do the debate without the uh, prompter and, you know, with the words written out was because of a, a stroke that had yeah. left his brain unable to process things. I mean, again, those things may have been rebuilt within his brain, but it takes time to rehab it. Mm -hmm. But more to the point, I'm talking about media coverage and political bashing, which was going on sort of wall to wall with Fetterman, with Feinstein, and now with McConnell, haven't seen a lot of it yet. And this is a very powerful man, and yet I haven't heard a lot about it. Do I wish bad things on Mitch McConnell? I, I, I don't like to, first of all, it doesn't matter whether you wish bad things on someone. It's not going to, they don't come to pass. OK, you can put all the candles on the birthday cake and make a wish about Mitch McConnell. It's not going to have any effect on the outcome. So all I would say is that Mitch McConnell deserves the same treatment and same conversation that these other politicians who are powerful people as well uh, deserve. Here's what happened yesterday. Mm -hmm. Well, he really does look frozen. Oh, he hasn't started yet? Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. All right. Wow. Tony. Uh, well, I that's guess, okay. Uh, I'm glad it took yeah. us a minute because I think it's good to raise the question then. Is it, is it um, insensitive to play this with a person having a medical emergency? I know he's the minority leader of the Senate. And it's newsworthy. But the question should be asked, I think, you know, when someone is suffering like this, is it insensitive to play that? Well, I don't know if they're suffering at all. They're, the guy's having a, some kind of, you know. Sick. He's sick. Okay. So he's sick. I mean, I mean, if he collapsed, you'd show it. The fact that he yeah. didn't collapse, you're saying you might not show it if he collapsed. No, I'm just, it's a question I would ask before running any story, right? Like, is it... Is it worth showing? In this case, I would say yes, because of who he is and what There's his There's not some is. act of violence going on here. This is just a guy who is out on his feet. I mean, I don't see anything particularly... Uh, I get it. He's having yeah. a, a, ment a, a, a mental, physical moment. Uh -huh. But where is the stuff that you, you know, you'd have to post the disclaimer about? Like, you know, the following footage may, you may find disturbing. There's nothing disturbing about it. No, it's just maybe insensitive to him like if you if that happened to you would you want it rolled on the news over and over and over again that's that's the question uh, if asked. i was a powerful enough person to influence supreme court appointments mm -hmm. and to railroad supreme court appointments yeah. Yeah. and and not confirm or even take a hearing for confirmation for the last supreme court appointment with president obama uh then yeah I'll take my hits on there. Yeah, it's part of the game, baby. Yeah. I'm powerful enough. I'm out front enough to influence the future of generations in this country based on mm -hmm. my manipulation of a Supreme Court seat. Yeah, that's just part of the game. You have a seizure while you're standing up or whatever it is, yeah. a stand-up stroke, you're, it's going to be shared with the nation. I have no problem with it at all. And damn it, run it, Tony! <laughs> This week has been good bipartisan cooperation and a string of uh, uh Anything else you want to say, or should I just go back to your office? Mm -hmm. Do you want to say anything else to the press? Yeah, I mean, he's out on his go feet. Back. There's no go question ahead. about it. I, I didn't think there was anything, again, to, just to put a point on it, particularly disturbing about that. There's nothing gross or whatever. I get it. The guy was having a moment. I actually am glad I saw it. I haven't seen it since it ran yesterday. And it's... It's just a moment. I mean, it's almost a senior moment, you know? I get it's more than just a senior moment where you forget somebody's name, but it, it falls into the category of 
you know, something in between forgetting somebody's name and having a full on, you know, seizure event. Now, Tony, who is not a doctor, but has watched many medical shows, used to watch House, one of the other medical sh- shows you told me you watched Chicago Hope, I think you mentioned. He felt that this uh, was a seizure. Is My dad that right, had a Tony? Seizure. My dad had a seizure, and it was similar to that. So when it, it, it just, you stand, you stand there, and then just freeze. It's not the TV version of of a seizure. Yeah, where you're shaking. He, or, he yeah. just my dad just froze. No, and it just and that's one of the. Is he okay? And he just that that it gets that uncomfortably long. It's like okay, something's wrong, and that's when how old a man was your dad when he had the seizure? Do you recall? Uh, Fifty one because it was right before oh, wow. they found because that's when they found the brain cancer. Yeah, so that's what, that's so. totally so. So, yeah, I'm sorry, totally. so that, that Kim, first I would time. say, I would say this, Kim, that I um, I don't feel bad about Mitch McConnell and running the video. I mean, of course, I'm, I'm never mm-hmm. happy to see somebody having a an incident of any kind, um, but I do feel bad about the fact that I asked Tony to weigh in, and then he mentioned his dad's brain cancer, and now I can't think about anything else but how sad oh, I am. I know. It's been twenty yeah. years, man. It's fine. Oh, good. All right. How well, dare you. All right. Hit me with a uh, stinger, you. if you would, please. All right. <laughs> Give me one second. The Mark Thompson Show. We can uh, revisit the Mitch McConnell thing as necessary, but I think, you know, for now, let's just move on. Um, I, uh, I do want to note something that uh, Kim had sort of hipped me to. Seems that we should only be sensitive. I missed Vilma's comment, but um, I like... Uh, we should only be sensitive to the right when they have issues, but when a Democrat has health issues, it's okay to play dirty. Yeah, it, it just struck me as oddly um, imbalanced. Um, look at this is from John Daly. John Daly spent more time in the chat than uh, when my dad had a stroke. He just appeared confused and refused breakfast. That's when my mom knew something was up. Isn't that interesting? I mean, mm. you do hear these stories now from Tony, now from John Daly about how, you know, this is a pattern. Um, don't know. I want to thank uh, Wes, by the way. Wes, who Yay. is a regular supporter. Love him. Wes Theory for five bucks today, getting things started on the Super Sticker Super Chat. Appreciate it so very much. Uh, a little bit later, I'll recognize some new Patreon members. Uh, I was going to mention that Kim sort of hipped me... Um, Lori says, I'll say it again, if you get hit with a sudden bout of dizziness or vertigo, all your concentration uh, goes to not falling. The slight swaying makes me think that, and Tony is talking about an absence seizure. Well, this is clearly something that we um, need to get more on. I would have booked a doctor for today, but I felt I didn't want to get too deep into it. I'm not going to, yeah, I didn't want to get into, you know, like yeah. diagnosing Mitch McConnell, the same way people diagnose, you know, the... Um, the Buffalo Bills player who suffered the cardiac, or you know, or or Le- LeBron's son who suffered the uh, cardiac incident. I mean, there are all these doctors showing up on TV going, you know, with yeah. no information, but yet trying to diagnose what's going on. Sanjay Gupta's been busy. Yeah, Sanjay's all over. <laughs> great example. Hi, it's Mark, and I thought that was great. Hit the notification bell; you'll know whenever there's a new video being dropped. And please subscribe to our channel to help us save the universe.